In this problem, we're told a 75 kilogram person climbs stairs, gaining 2.5 meters in height, and then we're told to find the work done to accomplish this task. So what we have going on here is this person, they're gonna have a mass of 75 kilograms, and they're basically just going up 2.5 meters uh, in the y direction up these stairs. And so what we're trying to do is find the work. And so in order to find the work, you need to know the formula for it, which is work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. So what you need to know is the force in this problem. So basically the only force uh, acting on them in this problem is going to be the weight force, which is mg. So in this case, the work done is by uh, gravity. And so what the force is in this problem is just mg. So when we solve this, the force acting on them, we plug in is just m times g. So we do mg times d times the cosine of theta. And so the work is going to be equal to their mass, which in this case is 75, times g, which is just 9.8, times uh, the distance they move. So in this case, we're talking about the y direction. So their distance is going to be 2.5 meters. They move upwards. And then times the cosine of theta. So what theta is, it's basically the angle between the direction they go and the force. So they're going to have to be overcoming this force, right? So their force is going to be applied upwards, right? They're going to have to push. And so basically, they're going to be traveling upwards. That's the direction they're going. And then the force is going to be in the same direction. So what theta is, it's basically the angle between the force and the direction they go. So they go upwards, and the force is also applied upwards. So basically what that means is they're on top of each other, the force in the direction they go. And so if they're right on top of each other, the angle between the two is just zero. So basically what theta represents in this case is zero. So the cosine of zero would just be one. So really this just cancels out itself. So when you have a problem like this, generally you don't have to worry about the angle unless the force applied is at an angle. So you just want to really just do your force times distance. But I just like to show it because in other problems you might have to do that. So you just really want to do 75 times 9.8 times 2.5. And so go ahead and do this 75 times 9.8 times 2.5. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 1,837.5. And then what we measure work in is joules. So the work is going to be equal to 1,837.5 joules. You can put it in kilojoules if you want. You just divide by 1,000. But yeah, 1,837.5. Uh, Jules, this is going to be how much work was done. So that's your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.